Uh, welcome back to Unleashed, I guess. Um, so, yeah, just need to get this um, starting bit out of the way. There's nothing to, to really say about this beginning part because I just need to talk to the professor and then I can go to Holoska again and then, yeah. Okay, enough of that pointlessness. Um, let's get a move on. So one thing that I did before I recorded this session is um, I actually wrote down um, how many medals I need for the uh, guy gate doors because it got pretty annoying having to uh, constantly check um, to see if I could open up any of them um, and a lot of the times just not being able to. So I just decided to write all of them down so I don't need to worry about that anymore and like when we have enough for a specific um, door we can just go there uh, when we yeah just when we have them um, and uh, one thing I've noticed is that a lot of the well at least five of the uh, remaining doors I don't know um, I, I, I don't know um, about like the remaining areas like if it's gonna be the case for these but or for them, but yeah, five five of the doors that we can't open yet require six, 69 moon medals, um, and that's pretty great, <laughs> like, I don't know why that's the case, but like, I don't know if Sonic Team is trying to tell me something, but um, there's uh, definitely something alright. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, we don't won't be doing those stupid edits where so oh can we go into a door like and like nine out of ten times we just cut because there's nothing nothing there so uh, yeah we won't be doing that from now on uh, we'll just be going through the doors when we actually can um, so yeah it just makes it a bit more convenient and whatnot anyways we're going to a uh, another uh, night stage or like group of night stages I guess because um, of how the Wii version does it, and um, you'll f you'll see that um, Holoska Night in both versions, in my opinion, is actually one of the best uh, night stages in the game. Because um, well, I don't want to blow my load too quickly here, but uh, I think it has some of the best level design, um, some of the best uh, pacing with the uh, challenges and um, the um, battles and whatnot, um, and the, the uh, atmosphere is very nice, I love the um, nice little, like the blues you get with um, the snow, um, I think the um, HD version focuses a lot more on the, um, the white, the white of the, of the snow, like, um, it depends generally on the, light, the lighting of the level, um, but for these snow levels in games, you tend to get either um, a focus on blue or white. Um, and yeah, this version, f specifically for the night, for the night time, you get more of a focus on the uh, the blue shading um, going on here. And I think it looks really good. Um, I think it pops out really nicely, um, and it's a uh, it gives it a good um, colouring to it, I guess. Like, I don't know. I, th I think it suits this really well. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's good stuff here. Um, let's get some little platforming. Yeah, these things are... Those enemies are kind of weird. I don't think they're in the HD one. Uh, but, yeah, they're pretty much exclusively used for platforming. Um... And, uh, being just pretty self-explanatory. We've seen them before, so. Uh, one thing I'm, I'm hoping for, um, after recording this is that <laughs> the actual ba audio balance is fine because, oh boy, I am so sorry for people's eardrums <laughs> in the last, uh, session. For the Wii more specifically because, um, yeah, that, that audio balancing was awful for the Wii. Like, it... I didn't, because the thing is, like, um, the game, 
I have to lo like lower my volume settings for myself. So I, I had no idea it was like that unbalanced between me and the game. So yeah, hopefully it's um, not as bad as that now. Hopefully it's fine, but I'll end up having to see after finishing this. Because the thing is, like, I can't just um, change just the game audio. Um, I record uh, just because it's easier for me um, and I don't have too many things going on on my computer at once. Um, I record both the audio and my mic through OBS at the same time. So if I lower the game, it'll end up lowering me as well. So that's why I couldn't really do much to fix it. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, hopefully it wasn't too bad and you made you uh, could get through, but yeah, still apologies regardless. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, but uh, who knows? I'm gonna I'm gonna make like try to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Like th this is why um, doing uh, oh my god this is this is why doing uh, like recording um, practice not practices. Uh, this is why doing test recording uh, stuff is important because that's when, like, if you don't, you get stuff like that happening. Um, and I, again, I, I did, well, I did do a test record, but just be, <laughs> just because of how I have my the, the gamer audio quieter than you would hear it. Um, I, again, I just I thought it was fine, but evidently it wasn't. So yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that was a really short first act. I do kind of like this though because, um, yeah, the Act 1, that was basically um, the first area that was essentially the, uh, like a, a condensed version of the um, HD versions like Haloska Hub. Uh, like you had the igloos there that, and um, it was like this open space and whatnot and you had this um, uh, pathway going up in like a, uh, like a, Swirt, like a spiral, not a spiral, but like um, it, it, the pathway looked like it was um, it was like the how you got to the exit for the HD hub, um, and and then you just go like kind of trails off into the actual stage after that, and I think that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but I look at that beginning ec uh, section and I just see hey. Oh my god. <laughs> I just see a uh, HD hub. Um, and if that's the case, then that's pretty cool, I think. Um, they don't have the actual hub in the game, but it's um, the closest we're going to get to it. So I'm. Oh my god. I'm making like crazy leaps of faith right now. I should probably like calm down a bit. But yeah, there's. Um, for this level here, there's a lot of uh, cool secrets we can find. Um, there's a sneaky one coming up here, I believe. Like just yeah, just down here. Oof. Yeah, that's really easy to miss. Like you wouldn't think it, uh, but yeah, there's, it's just a, some of the simplest secrets can be really devious sometimes. Um, and uh, there's also, I think this is there's a secret um, like Chunan where you skip a bunch of fighting um, if you uh, if you go to it. Um, but unlike the, uh, unlike Chunan, it's, there's no equivalent in the, in the HD version, as far as I recall. So that's actually something that, um, this version has over the HD one. Like, there's a hidden secret where you, you can go to it if you don't feel like fighting enemies, um, for, like, that section. Um, and obviously you get the, um, item and whatnot as well, so there's also that, and yeah, so it's all, it's pretty good stuff. This is a, these are very good, um, night stages for both, both versions. I don't know if there's an Act 2 on the, on the HD one, um, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, I don't know if I've been mentioning, mentioning this as well, actually. Okay, okay, so this is the secret, so you, we can go down here. Or we can just go up here and just do some platforming instead. Um, 
I think I might actually go down there as well just to get XP, but yeah, I, I, I do like how you get the choice um, and get some extra goodies while, while, while you're at it. But yeah, I'm just going to drop down because I do want to get the XP. But yeah, you don't, you don't actually have to do this, but yeah. And it's a lot of enemies, so it might be good to just do it anyway. And then we get a nice little platforming sequence here. Really, any any game that has um, a vertical platforming sequence, I love because, like, I love the. Fi I, I probably, I think, I'm pretty sure I said this during Spagonia, but I love the feeling of a. Uh, constantly climbing up something and having like some good old fashioned platforming um, do it like doing so um, like it, it makes you feel like you've climbed up really high um, and something about that just gives me a really good feeling in a game like <laughs> in real life like god no I, I definitely wouldn't want to do that because I like I don't really suffer from this in games for some reason but like in real life I like have massive vertigo problems. I I can't look at, um, like, like if I'm like really high up, I can't look at the at the ground because I I, I just get kind of nauseous, <laughs> like as if like I'm gonna just randomly start falling or like the the um or, like the the uh, structure I'm on is just gonna randomly break and I'm gonna fall and die, and I just I don't know I just get these scary um th thoughts like that and uh i just i just don't like being like up in high places in real life i it, it just makes me fall in uh <laughs> the ocean apparently i hope that doesn't i hope that doesn't mess up my um rank okay Nice. Um, but yeah, I, li I like how the first level was basically just a, more or less like an introduction um, and like you go outside of the hub area and then this level is more uh, going through like the actual um, I don't want to say the actual continent because we were doing that before but it feels like you're going out to, to like the more open parts of the world I guess if that makes any sense, <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, like, I, I feel like Act 2, there's just inherently more things going on, there's more platforming, uh, and all that good stuff. And then you get to this third stage where we go into a full-on, like, ice, ice temple. So that's pretty cool. Uh, something that the Wii version also has over the HD one, the the uh, ice temple here is not actually a thing, as far as I recall. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty neat. Like, th that's, that's why it's so fascinating, like, comparing these two versions, because these are, like, some of the two... These two games are, like, so similar, but so different at the same time. It's so fascinating. It's really fascinating, to be honest. Like, um, that's what made this era of gaming really unique because with, with how like underpowered the Wii was compared to its competitors um come like developers had to uh, make a entirely different game and to um uh for, like for the Wii and potentially PS2 for like Unleashed for instance like this game here um and um I just I just find that fascinating because like you get you get two different games, um, and they both have the same title, but yeah, you know, it's just so different. And like, I, I I don't know. I just find that really fascinating. Like we don't really have that nowadays because the consoles we have um, are more or less like are close enough to be on like the same general level where you don't need to check like. You don't need to make version like versions too different. Now, obviously, this, the Switch is 
weaker than the competition, but uh, they it's not to the it's not to the point of like the Wii compared to the PS3 and 360. Um, so it, it's usually just lower like lower frame rate, lower um, graphical fidelity. Sometimes they have to change some things. Um, like I think Crash 4 had had it so they um, changed the um, the uh, style to be a bit more uh, cell shaded, so they wouldn't have to put weird effects on to um, like I don't know like have the have the switch like run it properly. Um, so that uh, that's just pretty clever, but. Yeah, the point, is, the point is, is that we don't really have situations like this nowadays. And uh, while the- oh, I, I didn't actually know that was there. Um, I just kind of guessed. Um, yeah, even like we don't have that nowadays, which is technically a good thing. And for the most part, I am glad about that because um, it, it is nice to, be, to know that even if it is sometimes a watered down version in terms of just general performance, it's at least um, nice to know that even if you are playing on like the Switch, for instance, you are still getting the full version of like the game, like Crash Insane, Crash 4, Spyro Reignited, uh, random, I can't think of other examples right now, but yeah, it's just nice to know that you're getting the game as you know it from the other versions um but but at the same time there was something oddly um i don't want to say magical but unique about how the wii had to make a whole new game and yeah that's what makes unleashed unleashed wii and hd so interesting because like there's reasons to prefer one over the other um there's co pros and cons for both um, and it's just, it's, it's just this one specific Sonic game that's in this unique position, like, no, I'm, well, okay, well, there's the DS versions of, like, Sonic Colors, Generations, and Lost World, and stuff like that, but the thing with that, though, is that those games are on, those versions are on the, ha like, the handheld systems, um, so you kind of expect some differences, <laughs> to be fair, um, so that's why I, I feel like that's a bit different. It's a similar kind of thing, I guess, but the fact that those are on handhelds instead makes, for me, makes it a bit more, like, understandable. Not, not understandable, what am I saying? It makes it a bit different because, again, th those games are on handhelds, so I don't really expect, like, crazy powerful, uh, like, stuff out of that, and uh, making a different game that's purely 2D except for Lost World's case, uh, it's un understandable. Um, but yeah, Unleashed is the, is the one game out of all the Sonic games that just has two different console versions. And that's just really fascinating. Like, I can't really think of many other, like, games, like, I can't really think of many other things that are like that. Like, I don't know. Like, two versions that are just so, sp like, so radically different like this and uh yeah that was that <laughs> um and uh yeah that <laughs> that's basically the end of the the uh of holoska night for the wii um you just gotta go go down here and then i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure the game will just teleport us right to the boss so um, yeah, after it goes through my, like, level up stuff, I'm just gonna cut to the HD one, so, uh, yeah. That went by really fast, good, <laughs> good lord. Oh. Okay, so it doesn't actually- Okay, so I think that's actually what happens in the HD one. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna talk to, to the professor real quick. Um, get the, uh, like, t 
make him say, oh, you can go, you can fight the boss. Um, and, uh, yeah. I don't, like, I don't understand, I don't understand why they have to do that, like, I literally just went to Holoska, what, like, why do I have to go back to, to, to the professor? So yeah, now we just go do this, and no. Uh, okay. And... Yeah, I'm just gonna open this up. I'm not gonna walk through, but... Yeah, just open this up, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys for Holoska Night on the HD one. Ah oh, man, it's so peaceful. And uh, oh yeah, start her, some medal, and yeah, like I said before, like in the Wii version, doesn't this look like the beginning section? Yeah, like, and then there's the this platform here. That is, uh, you can't get to her, but it's kind of cool. I, li I like how it's, um, like the, uh, the first area of the Wii version stage is essentially just this hub. That's really cool. I, I dig that a lot, actually. Um, so, um, so there is, um, I don't know, I, I don't know how you get it, but there is a, uh, special, um, what is it? Th there is a special uh, cutscene you can unlock here, like in Chunan, but I don't... <laughs> nice. I don't know uh, what type of food you need to eat. Um, I thought it was like... Um... <laughs> like I, th I thought it was like a, a chocolate that was like frozen or something, but I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, you need to be exercised. Yeah, it's been a while since we've do done some good old ex exorcism. So, uh... Yeah, I still don't know if the, these are, like... Um, what is it? Actually, like, part of the, um, level count in the, uh, in, in the, um, menus. But, yeah, I guess we'll hopefully find out eventually? I don't know. <laughs> Let's take out, take care of you. This is good for some extra XP as well, so... Yeah, and this move specifically is really good. Take out you. And uh, throw you at that guy. Or not. <laughs> That works too. Oh wait, wait, get those! Oh damn it! Damn it! Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Don't 
Doesn't help us too much, but hey. Something like just a little bit it's still it's still something. So <laughs> nice. Right now Okay, we still need to find a sun medal. It was not hidden there. Any other snowman maybe? Yep, okay, cool. Okay, now we can get a move on. Isn't the where's the kid? She should be around somewhere, right? No. Oh well. Okay, so now we get back here, and there's one moon medal that we don't have yet, so I, I assume that's because I couldn't get it before. It was up here, right? Is it that one? Is that see-through? Pretty sure that's see-through. Yeah, okay, so where's the uh, other one then? Is it up there somewhere? I assume it's up here. Because um, I doubt I would have been able to do any of the- Oh, good. <laughs> I doubt I would have been able to do any of this with um, the, uh, with, like, Day Sonic. Hmm. Maybe I was- Oh, jeez. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, well, maybe- well, I guess we'll find out, but, yeah, this hub specifically is showing a lot more of the uh, blues right now. It might be a case of the uh, daytime, but like, uh, day, day is more like you see the whites and night you see more of the blues. I don't know if that's how it works, but that's what it, it that's it probably, I feel like it, that's probably how it is because just how the lighting works, oh here, it, it's just kind of <laughs> unceremoniously just hidden there, okay, um, because like, the night sky, gives it this blue effect and then the daytime obviously it's white because it's all like uh, bright and stuff so I guess that's how it works and obviously obviously there's um ice itself with, which is gonna be white uh, pretty much no matter what well maybe not no matter what but you know Yeah, this is pretty pretty funny too. I think I don't remember if you see the boss like right after the the this stage, um, but if you don't, that's pretty freaking funny. Like you finish the stage and you just walk two feet and you just, and you go into the boss door. Like that's that's pretty good right there. And. Uh, do that. God, I love doing that. Nice. Yeah, there's a like a crazy amount of combos you can do in in this game. Like I've been saying, like I probably haven't even scratched the surface in in terms of like what you can do with this guy. And you can even like if I do this. Yeah, you can do that to get some good distance. Um, I'm not good, like very well practiced in any of that, so I probably won't be doing much of that. Uh, maybe after I get the hang of it. Um, but yeah, I I'll, I don't want to put myself in at risk too like too much here. But yeah, um, like I said in the Wii version, this is also one of my favorite night stages here because. Like, there's a good sense of platforming, and, uh, like, there's a good mix of platforming and fighting. You aren't doing one or the other too much. Um, like, it's one of those things where, like, um, 
like the the fighting feels like a reward for getting through a platforming section and um i feel like okay i feel like this stage does it arguably the best um like the again there's a there's a good mix of the two of the two um the stage itself is just gorgeous um and it introduces you to a bunch of different uh like concepts pretty at a pretty good pace um and it's one of those things like like remember how i said how i thought tuna night was too short this is a stage that um doesn't have that issue at all like it's not too long uh, to like overstay its welcome and it's not too short to like not have its concepts fleshed out enough and there's not enough going on um like this stage um lets it lets its concepts um like f be fleshed out and like have room to breathe um and there's a good like the work the level itself is spacious spacious enough to make it not feel super cramped like tunan did um and it's, it's a really well crafted level like this is one of my favorites in the game um like no i i'd go as far as, as to saying like this is not even just in terms of night stages like both day like day and night this is one of my favorite stages in the game uh it's really good stuff here and um personally i'd say that this is much higher um on my like favorites list than the, the Wii version just because I feel like there's more unique stuff going on uh, I feel like the uh, general pacing's better um, I, I feel like the ideas in general are just more f like interesting and thought out um, like I do I do enjoy the um, ice temple but in terms of level, des level design it's not in it's not exactly anything too groundbreaking it's um like the Wii version in general is fair can, in terms of like platforming and whatnot. It's usually on the simpler side. Um, like we had, we did have stuff like the Chunan waterfall level, which was pretty cool. Um, and it can get complex um every now and then. And again, I do think the Wii version has more of a ha, ha, the Wii version has a better. A better grasp on how to um what is it okay let's make sure i don't die <laughs> um has a better grasp on balancing platforming and fighting um and the fact that you don't have any like that many combos uh makes it so they like enemies don't take that much to kill so that's pretty good but uh the stuff that is there is usually not anything too groundbreaking and I feel like the stuff that the HD version does is usually more, I don't want to say intricate, but usually more, like, interesting and, uh, uh, less basic, I guess. Um, especially in this level where there's quite a lot of stuff going on. 